I've always loved everything film related and film history especially. So here is a quick look back at the month of August and all the film related events that happened throughout the month with day by day breakdown of film, television, music, pop culture, celebrity weddings, celebrity birthdays. Comment below if you want to see more content like this, if film history interests you, or if you want to see a more horror genre focused day in history, stuff like that. But thank you so much for watching and as always please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel and check back often for more awesome content. Today in film history on August 1st, 1927 became the earliest day you could be considered for the Academy Awards. The second ever Venice Film Festival opened in 1934. In 1942, actress Janet Leigh, who is famous from her role in the film Psycho, married her childhood sweetheart John Kenneth Carlyle in Reno, Nevada. Today is also Jason Momoa's birthday. He's known from Game of Thrones, Aquaman, and he was born in Hawaii. If you grew up in the 90s and early 2000s, you might be familiar with the boy band O-Town. Today is Ashley Parker Angel's birthday, and he is in the top corner. And on this day in 1996, George R.R. R. Martin released his book, A Song of Ice and Fire. So today in film history, August 2nd, is horror film director Wes Craven's birthday. He was born in Cleveland, Ohio, and directed films such as Nightmare on Elm Street and Scream, just to name a few. The horror film The Sixth Sense premiered today, August 2nd in 1999, starring Bruce Willis, Haley Joel Osment, and Tony Collette. I remember watching this when I was younger and being terrified. If you know, you know there's definitely a big plot twist in this M. Night Shyamalan film. And lastly, on this day in 2018, the app formerly known as Musical.ly, now known as TikTok, merged, becoming available worldwide and becoming this social media video networking platform that we know today. Today in film history in 1920, actor John Barrymore, Drew Barrymore's grandfather, would marry his second wife, author Blanche. Unfortunately, they would divorce eight years later. On this day in 1926, Harry Houdini would stay in a coffin underwater for an hour and a half before escaping. In 1964, one of my favorite directors, Mel Brooks from Spaceballs, Young Frankenstein, many more would marry Anne Bancroft in Manhattan. Today is also Guardians of the Galaxy film director James Gunn's birthday. In 1977, actress Julie Newmar, who I know best as Catwoman from the original Batman series, would marry J. Holt Smith. One of my favorite shows, it's hilarious. I haven't seen a ton of the original, but in 1998, the spin-off version of Whose Line Is It Anyway came to the States. Premiering on ABC, starring Ryan Stiles, Colin Mockery, Wayne Brady. I could watch this show endlessly, it's so funny. And lastly, in 1995, Steve Carell, Michael Scott, marries his wife, Nancy. Today in film history, August 6th, it was a big day for birthdays, starting off in 1911 with Lucille Ball, who is infamous for her role in the I Love Lucy series. She was born in Jamestown, New York. In 1928, painter and film director Andy Warhol is born in Pittsburgh. And in 1970, film director M. Night Shyamalan is born, The Sixth Sense, many others. He's always known for his plot twist endings. Today in film history, August 8th, the 1939 seventh annual Venice Film Festival opens with a U.S. boycott due to Benito Mussolini's fascist Italian regime. In 1987, the RuPaul Drag Race famous Kim Chi was born in Chicago, Illinois. And more recently, in 2017, Disney said it was going to start its own streaming service, which became Disney Plus, and cut off all ties with Netflix. Today, in film history, August 9th, in 1930, the character Betty Boop makes her first appearance in the cartoon Dizzy Dishes. In 1949, actor Jimmy Stewart marries former model Gloria McLean. In 1958, actor Robert Redford marries Lola in Las Vegas, Nevada. And lastly, in 1968, it is Gillian Anderson's birthday. She was born in Chicago and is known from The X-Files and tons of other movies and TV shows. 
Today in film history, in 1898, Jack Halley, vaudeville actor, singer, dancer, best known as his role in The Wizard of Oz Tin Man, was born in Boston, Massachusetts. In 1941, child actor Jackie Coogan marries Flower Pari, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, in Nevada. If you've never heard of Jackie Coogan, look it up. It's a crazy story of how he was exploited as a child actor. On this day in 1960 is the Alfred Hitchcock classic Psycho has its film premiere in LA. Today was also Marlon Brando's wedding day in 1962. And lastly, in 2002, one of my favorite actors, Nicolas Cage, marries Elvis's Presley's daughter, Lisa Marie Presley, in Hawaii. Unfortunately, they would divorce two years later. Today in film history, August 13th is Alfred Hitchcock's birthday. He was born 1899 in London and is known as the master of suspense. He's created The Birds, Rear Window, Psycho, Vertigo, some of our classics throughout cinematic history. On this day in 1967, Bonnie and Clyde was released starring Warren Beatty and Faye Dunaway. In 1981, it was Goodnight Waltons with the last airing of The Waltons Show on CBS. I watched this show a lot when I was younger, and they have that famous sign-off with everybody saying, you know, goodnight to each other, goodnight John Boyd, goodnight Mary Ellen. And more recently, in 2019, Viacom and CBS merged with a combined revenue of $28 billion. Today in film history, August 14th, one of my favorite actors, comedians, I love the jerk, parenthood, so funny, Steve Martin was born in Waco, Texas. In 1965, the Beatles were preparing to play the Ed Sullivan Show. And in 1967, celebrity hairdresser Vidal Sassoon cuts actress Mia Farrow's hair into the famous pixie cut that she's known for, costing $5,000, when in reality it was just a publicity stunt. Mia Farrow had previously cut her own hair. Today in film history, August 15th, in 1939, marks the film premiere in Hollywood of the classic Wizard of Oz, starring Judy Garland as Dorothy. On this day in 1965, the Beatles play one of their largest crowds to over 55,000 people in Shea Stadium in New York City. And among those in the audience were future wives of the Beatles, Barbara Bach and Linda Eastman. Today in film history, August 16th, in 1930, the first ever color cartoon called Fiddlesticks was released. On this day in 1931 marks Julie Newmar's birthday. I mostly know her for her role as Catwoman in the original Batman series. Legendary director James Cameron was born in 1954, and I'm very proud to say he is in fact Canadian and he was born in Ontario. Sadly, on this day in 1956, actor Bella Lugosi, known as Dracula and many, many other films, uh, dies of a heart attack at the age of 73. Today also marks Steve Carell's birthday. He was born in 1962 in Concord, Massachusetts from The Office. So funny. I love that show. I could watch it endlessly. Also on this day, Frank Sinatra and Mia Farrow were divorced. It was his third wife and they'd been married for two years. And on this day in 1983, Carrie Fisher, Princess Leia from Star Wars, marries singer-songwriter Paul Simon. If you haven't checked out any of Carrie Fisher's books, I would definitely recommend them. They're so funny. And sadly, the marriage would only last a year and they would divorce in 1984. Today in film history, August 17th, in 1893, the legendary singer-actress Mae West was born in Brooklyn, New York. In 1964, martial arts expert Bruce Lee married his wife, Linda. And in 1989, award-winning director Catherine Bigelow marries a fellow director, James Cameron. Today in film history, August 22nd, one of my favorite movies of all time, the Rob Reiner film Stand By Me came out in 1986 on this day in history. It is based off the Stephen King novella. I haven't read the book. I definitely need to try and find a copy of it. Such a great film. I love this movie. I watch it every year, and River Phoenix is one of my favorite actors. Today in film history, August 23rd in 1926, Rudolph Valentino, Italian actor and silent movie idol, passes away at the age of 31 in New York. 
If you saw my previous video, you know River Phoenix is one of my favorite actors. August 23rd is his birthday. He was born in 1970 in Oregon. And in 1975, legendary actress Maggie Smith marries her husband, playwright Beverly Cross, in England. Today in film history, August 25th, James Bond, Sean Connery, was born in 1930 in Edinburgh, Scotland. In 1955, Dracula star Bella Lugosi marries Hope Linninger. And in 1958, one of my favorite directors, Tim Burton, Beetlejuice, Edward Scissorhands. I'm really looking forward to checking out his new Wednesday Addams Family adaptation on Netflix later this year. He was born in Burbank, California. Today in film history, August 27th, the classic film Mary Poppins, starring Julie Andrews and Dick Van Dyke, had its L.A. premiere in 1964. One of my favorite movies that I've seen in the last 10 years, in 2014, Birdman premiered at the Venice Film Festival, starring Michael Keaton and Zach Galifianakis. And today is Aaron Paul's birthday. He was born in 1979 in Emmett, Idaho, the star of Breaking Bad. I know he's in the new season of Westworld. He was also in a 90s rom-com teen comedy called Whatever It Takes. Today in film history, August 29th in 1923, actor Richard Attenborough was born in Cambridge, England. He's most known to me as the guy from Jurassic Park. In 1982, Swedish actress Ingrid Bergman, who I've definitely heard her name. Unfortunately, I don't think I've seen any of her films. I know she's in Casablanca, um, but on this day in 1982, she died on her birthday. On this day in 1983, Canadian actor Dan Aykroyd, uh, Canadian legend, he was in Ghostbusters. He marries Donna Dixon. In 1997, Netflix, the streaming giant, one of the first out there uh, offering online streaming services, was founded by Mark Randolph and Reed Hastings in Scotts Valley, California, as an online uh, DVD rental service. I know they used to send out DVDs in the mail. I was never a part of that. I only know it as the streaming service, but as a former Blockbuster employee, I know the famous story of Blockbuster being offered an opportunity to partner with Netflix and them turning it down. In 2003, Amy Poehler from SNL Parks and Rec marries Canadian actor Will Arnett. And sadly, in 2006, Gene Wilder, a great actor, Willy Wonka, Young Frankenstein, uh, he passes away at the age of 83. On this day in film history, August 31st in 1897, Thomas Edison, famous inventor, patents the kinetoscope camera, which is a device that produces moving pictures, which obviously as someone who loves movies, I find that very fascinating and I love learning all about the history of cinematography and cameras. In 2009, the Walt Disney Company announces it will acquire Marvel Entertainment for a massive $4.24 billion. And in 2018, the remake of A Star is Born, or the second remake, I think there's two previous versions, um, premiered at the Venice Film Festival.